I look, I didn't plan to make a video on this until the recent doc that came out. I had planned to just stay out of the types of drama completely just because I don't want to get involved with any of the drama and I don't want to really be on bad terms with anyone. But the recent thing that just came out, the recent doc, which I'm going to be going over today before it does get deleted just for purposes. You know, I don't want my content to be mainly about drama videos, but pretty much I'm just going to go over this. And this is the only time I'll ever bring something like this up because this is actually extremely serious. So this doc contains a lot of drama from Shinden, but it also has to do with Nuova and Emery, two devs from Typeso, and it concerns a 15 year old. So obviously because it concerns a minor, it's really bad. Okay, this is serious allegations, not even allegations, it's confirmed it's not even allegations more this is like confirmed shitty things that these guys have been doing but anyways i'm just gonna go over the doc now there is gonna be some stuff i can't go over because it's that bad and also i'm just gonna put up pvp for those brain rotted guys out there okay you can read this for yourself but to sum it up pretty much a girl who used to play shinden back in 2022 to 2023 had her pictures leaked by a friend of her she basically got backdoored she got docs and sent it to everyone in shinden and then she left, yeah, right, you know, really shitty thing of that friend to do. And just a really shitty thing to have to experience, getting dogs, getting leaked, you know, it's not fun. I'm also not going to be naming this person. I'm going to try to blur out their name whenever I see it because I don't want to keep continue spreading what this person has gone through. Pretty much this person was banned off of Canadian MRE's game for sending a picture to somebody and then insulting them. Obviously, you don't want to insult anyone, but they did it. You know, it's an immature thing to do. You get over it. They said they came back later on see in the beginning. They came back later on and they didn't want any drama. They matured, right? That's good good for them but pretty much the shinden devs and especially mre held a very strong grudge to this person and during all this was happening nuova and mre were all or canadian whatever you want to call them just call them mre but they were all in the same group in the shinden group and nuova and mre did nothing to stop any of the harassment that this person was facing their pictures were getting leaked and just spread everywhere as well as them getting falsely banned off of shinden and mre and nuova being the higher ups in this uh, group right they didn't do anything to stop it they kind of just let it run rampant from pretty much from what the document says now you can read these if you want a lot of this is shinden stuff but i'm gonna mainly focus on the wova and emery like i said now a lot of this next stuff here is going to be mainly shinden but i'm just gonna scroll down and move on to uh, nuova as you can see right here that is nuova's profile picture as you can see here in the document nuova got his friend group bird and coat gag ethan and obviously you know nuova himself to ping everyone in a server and i'm gonna guess this is like something that has to do with a shinden server or nuova's games it's one of those things pretty much nuova pinged everyone and just lied about this person that they had just transitioned right that they were transgender and according to them they did not transition or anything like that so he just completely lied and it's not and it's not confirmed if nuova got people to dm the victim like explicit things but they did get a lot of dm as you can see calling them you know these slurs bro i'm not gonna say i don't want to get you know banned or anything but they got to call them slurs and as you can see in the screenshot right here nuova says something like sorry we can't have trans quote unquote people fucking terrible in the admin team that's just bad bro come on that's bad looks and keep in mind that nuova is also friends with all these other people that the document has been leaked with like it's a bunch of bad people as you can see adam eats pants talking about the person i'm gonna blur their name like i just said but they're just talking about their chest size and how they would take them out and stuff if it was like smaller right very fucked up thing to say nuova is friends with this person same friend group it's extremely bad moving on to panda he, he plays a small part in this but i'm not gonna lie he has like a custom name or custom title inside of type so they gave him a custom title for some reason as you can see here in this screenshot right here he sends a bunch of like lollies and stuff and not only does he send this lollies right here like this isn't like nsfw right but it's kind of weird but it's not like nsfw the next part i cannot show because it does contain something called but let's just say it's the drawn version of the really bad underage stuff okay that's and this person panda was spreading around those types of images i can't show it like i just said but it's in the document if you get your hands on it you can see i don't suggest it it's fucking it's it's disgusting bro it is disgusting and as you can see right here here's panda's custom title bro level five wizard or whatever and if you thought it couldn't get worse it gets even worse in this part right here because nuova prime right this is where it gets really bad Pretty much him, Nuova Prime, and the other people from Shinden got a 15 year old to twerk on video and they recorded the video is spreading around. I don't suggest you try to look for it. But yeah, Nuovo and his friends got some girl to twerk to get unbanned or receive in-game items. And it's just, it's, it's like I said bro earlier, it's disgusting. All of this is disgusting. And I can't show this next part again because it is NSFW, but pretty much Nuova sent an image of the very bad drawn stuff that is not of age, bro. Okay, it's fucking terrible. It just gets worse. 
And now that Nuova's out the way, I'm not trying to say or downplay his part. That's fucking terrible. That's disgusting, bro. Like, I, I'm hoping... Because this, this is all recent, too. This isn't, like, years ago. This is... These is are things that are recent. You can see in the profile pictures that it's still as they have it now. They could have had it for a long time, but I'm just saying this is all recent stuff, like, within the last, I don't know, year. But anyways, referring back to the beginning, uh, the person did get banned by MRE because of them quote-unquote doxing i guess they sent a picture of emory around and insulted him i guess that's what it is that is a form of doxing but emory held this grudge against them for such a long time and kept just false banning or bias banning uh this person and now here's where it starts to get a little confusing like it starts to get like really like just long but pretty much emory was saying that he doesn't have to do anything with shinden anymore anymore even though he kept banning the victim of this story okay that sounds that's a bad way to put it. i don't know what to call them i'm just gonna call him the victim but pretty much someone got doxed and this person jack went to emory to try and get the people who were doxing their friend banned but emory just kept saying i don't have anything to do with shinden anymore yada 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 right? even though they were actively banning the victim because of this grudge that they had held for so long and it's just it, like it gets bad like he's saying oh i got nothing to do with it but just actively banning someone else I'm going to skip over some stuff now, but here it says that the uh, MRE is only willing to ban people who dox the me, right, the person, now that we have calm having an obvious personal grudge, because like I said right here, it shows the screenshot that they don't want to ban anyone else unless it has to do with him. And then right here, it shows that Emery was just looking for a reason to ban the person because uh, there's a fake picture of them seeing some nasty shit that was clearly faked and Emery knew it was fake, but he still banned this person and then lied about the ban reason. As you can see right there, I'm just reading off, bro, come on read yourself and then here's some more stuff that has to do with pandip that emory just continues to ignore doesn't even like bring it up there's no no accountability and here's just more information but pretty much emory was working with pdf files it that is it, it was just um it's confirmed that he was working with pdf files and emory knew all of this did not care didn't ever say anything didn't ever try to stop working with him just continue to work with him be friends with him and if you're thinking emory couldn't get worse as it is like oh my god dude he's just a selfish person like he's just a dickhead right like yeah he is a dickhead but if, you, if it doesn't get worse than that bro it could get it is gonna get worse and yeah once emory did leave shinden he's like he said he gives uh, ownership to burn in the discord but he's saying to just make sure the person stays banned and now I'm going to reveal the big thing that, that gets Emery even worse. As you can see right here, we unblur it. Boom. What is it? It is Emery being racist towards Asian people and black people. Now I'm going to have to blur out the part where it's the hard R because I don't want to get banned. But in the little blur, uh, it is Emery saying the hard R. You can, you can reference, right? Look, he says, and Ginger translates to, you know, yada 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 if you switch the energy bro come on i'm guessing he's ginger and that he's just saying that oh yeah i can say the hard art because of that bro this is bad this is bad look bro and yeah that's gonna be the whole document pretty much uh that is going to be the end of the video i just need i just wanted to talk about the spread awareness also if you're the person who made a doc and like the person who made like you know the victim themselves uh, if you wanted me to take down this video just join my discord dm me and just talk to me about it i'm not going to keep this video up if you obviously don't want this to keep spreading around so yeah if you just dm me if you want me to take it down if you don't if you want me to keep it up or whatever or want me talk about it more i'm fine with that just dm me again but yeah that's gonna be the video um i i would say enjoy hopefully you enjoyed but this is pretty fucked up i don't think you're gonna enjoy this but yeah just like and subscribe enjoy my discord uh, that's really gonna say follow my twitch and yeah bro i'm out this is the last time i ever talk about anything like this because it's pretty fucked up unless something worse comes out then maybe i'll talk about it but yeah that's it bro i'm out